Good morning, everybody. Hope your day's off to a good start. And uh, thank you for being here. Go ahead and like and share the post. And then uh, go with me back to the 119th Psalm. We'll be in verse 94 today. Starting there. 119 verse 94. The psalmist is uh, an interesting statement here, uh, one that uh, I think there's a good lesson for us in uh, to take today. Um, from the previous passages, the uh, psalmist indicates that God has uh, delivered him, has rescued him uh, from that uh, disastrous moment, whatever that was. Um, again, he says he felt like his life was, uh, that it was coming to an end. He was at his wit's end. It, it, um, uh, it does appear that God has delivered him and rescued him from that exact moment. However, uh, it doesn't appear uh, that he is out of the woods yet. Uh, look at verse 95, for example, the wicked have waited for me. Um, and uh, so he is, uh, the, the enemy is still there. Uh, he's still dealing with uh, some type of persecution, some type of conflict, just the immediate, urgent uh, danger seems to be uh, removed. And he gives us here, uh, I think three uh, important things for us to uh, to see and keep our minds on when we are dealing uh, with those kinds of situations. Uh, and so he says, first of all, uh, I am thine. I am thine. I belong to you, Lord. I'm yours, uh, is his first statement here uh, that, uh, that he makes, that, uh, Lord, I belong to you to you. Uh, you. You are mine. I am yours, uh, which uh, for him uh, was taken care of. Obviously, when we read the rest of this psalm, uh, that statement alone was taking care uh, of many of the problems and the issues uh, that, uh, that he uh, was dealing with. Uh, being lonely, being alone, uh, is a, a horrible uh, feeling. Uh, most of us at some point along the way uh, have had uh, that kind of, uh, that kind of uh, feeling that we were uh, abandoned, that uh, we were alone. And the psalmist says, you know, I, I may be attacked from all sides, uh, I may be uh, overwhelmed with enemies, outnumbered, um, you know, enemies on every hand, but I am not alone. Uh, I am your child. You are my father. Uh, and we have a relationship uh, that I can't depend on. And our first lesson then is to, to never allow Satan or our circumstances uh, to rob us and to cause us to forget uh, this truth, uh, that I am yours, uh, that I belong to the Father, uh, that uh, I, am, uh, I am God's, um, and that there's nothing that the world or Satan uh, can do about that. The second little statement he makes, again, and these are not... Um, real deep theology, uh, but it, they are good practical uh, lesson for us. Uh, I'm yours, save me. I'm yours, save me. Uh, Lord, I am yours, uh, and I am putting my um, myself into uh, your hands. Um, he, doesn't, um, he doesn't pray a... Um, uh, a, a long, complicated prayer, uh, just two simple words, Lord, save me. Uh, I'm putting myself in your hands. Uh, I'm trusting you, and uh, I believe you will save me. Uh, and uh, I think uh, that simple prayer 
uh, one of the things that, that I draw from it is, uh, again, he, he is to the point where um, he doesn't offer any suggestion. He doesn't tell God how to save him. Uh, he is just placing himself uh, in God's hand and saying, God, uh, you, you rescue me. Um, you know, again, I, maybe a poor uh, analogy, but I can't imagine someone uh, falling overboard off of a ship uh, and somebody uh, realizing it and rowing a, a lifeboat out to them and the person complained, no, 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 I don't want a lifeboat. Uh, I want you to throw me that little ring, um, you know, throw me that life ring. I don't want a boat um, or, you know, your, you know, your house is on fire and they pull up in a, um, in a yellow fire truck. No, I don't want the yellow fire truck. I want a red fire truck. No, save me. Uh, and, and the psalmist is, again, I, when I see those two words, what I think of is he's just, he has placed himself, uh, in the hands of God. Lord, whatever you think is best, uh, I am yours for I have sought thy precepts. The third element, uh, of his uh, of his little simple prayer, I'm yours, save me, and I have sought your precepts. Lord, I've, uh, I've made mistakes, I've, I've fumbled along the way, but I've tried uh, to do what was right. I've tried to find uh, your word and be obedient uh, to you and, and to, uh, to, uh, to, to live by your principles uh, and your, uh, your precepts. And so th this is just a, a beautiful little verse for us to, uh, to keep in our mind. I've used the phrase before to keep in our tool belt, uh, just a beautiful little verse that, uh, the psalmist just simply, man, he, he didn't, there's no fat in this verse. He just lays it down very simply. Lord, I'm yours. Save me. I'm trying my best to live by your word. So the real challenge then um, is really uh, the first and the third. I'm yours. Make sure you're the child. Make sure you are a child of God. If you don't know Him as your Savior today, uh, today would be the day. Uh, you need to ask Him into your heart as your Lord and Savior. Uh, I'm yours. Save me. And in that last statement, for I've sought your precepts, are we living according to His word? Um, are we are we being obedient? Can we pray uh, that prayer? Uh, if you were faced with a challenge, if you were faced uh, with uh, an attack today, could you pray, th pray this simple little verse? Lord, I'm yours. Save me, for I have sought, I have tried to live by your word. Uh, you need to think about that before that trouble comes along, uh, before the problem comes along. All right, I hope that helps you and strengthens you. You have a great day, and we'll see you back here uh, first thing tomorrow morning.